filters for your Osmo action. Necessity or luxury. Do action cameras really need filters? And if so, which filter should I go with? Do I really need to buy a top brand? Do they all do the same thing? Well, let's talk a bit about filters. Most people don't take photos unless it's time-lapse photos with action cameras. They're mostly doing video, high speed, high action stuff, 60 frames a second, whatever it is. That's what most people buy action cameras for. So I'm assuming that that's what you're buying an action camera for. With that being said, let's say you're filming at 60 frames a second. Now your shutter speed should ideally be double your frame rate. And that means that your shutter speed should be 1 1 20th. And that's double your frame rate at 60 frames a second. What that gives you now is what's referred to as a cinematic look. I don't really like to say cinematic look, but I prefer to say the look that the eyes are accustomed to. Our eyes have been watching television for all of these years, decades probably, at films and movies being filmed at 24 frames a second, so our eyes are just used to that look. And when you double your frame rate, you get that exact same look that the movies give you, that the eyes give you, and that's why it's referred to as cinematic. So now that we've got that out of the way, next question, well, what does that have to do with filters? Well, when you put your, when you, when you turn your camera on and you leave it in auto mode, which a lot of people like to shoot in, what it does is try to keep your exposure at zero. Your exposure means your video is not too bright, it's not too dark, it's centered at zero. In order to keep your footage filmed at zero, increase your shutter speed. And by increasing the shutter speed, it means that the shutter stays open for a very small period, very minute small period of time. And the smaller the time that the shutter stays open, the less light gets into the camera, resulting in a darker looking image. So in order to keep your exposure centered at zero and the bright sunlight to not blow your image out, this camera set in auto will increase your shutter speed thus darkening the image and your image will always be perfectly exposed now the problem is you lose that cinematic look you lose that shutter speed being double the frame rate because your shutter speed might fly up to triple quadruple who knows what in order to keep that exposure at zero and then you lose that cinematic look now if you don't care about the cinematic look if it's sharp your image is kind of video is very crisp very choppy and you're going for that look well then that's great but if you're not and the 24 frames a second look cinematic look is important to you then you will need filters for these bad boys so what the filter does now is block some of the light going in and that way the camera does not need to increase the shutter speed and your shutter speed can be double your frame rate especially if you set it that way in manual so that way it does not move and your image stays properly exposed and that's pretty much why you get filters in a nutshell now the thing is with the Osmo actions that when you're in auto mode and you're recording it doesn't even look I'll hit record it doesn't even show you like what your shutter speed is so you have no idea what your shutter speed is when you're filming in auto this thing could be ridiculously speeding up your shutter speed or slowing it down but when you swipe over and you switch to manual well then there you go you see your shutter speed you can set your shutter speed to whatever you want it to and you can see your exposure you can see your ISO you have complete control over everything and that will result in getting exactly the results that you're looking for this company MCO plus just sent me these filters and asked me to uh, test them out to see if I like them first off let me talk about one thing that I really like about these filters and that's this the capability to completely screw off 
and screw right on now I know a lot of people like the polar pro filters because you just screw on the magnetic part and then you can pop each filter that you prefer to use right on and off and that's more convenient now I get it and I definitely love that concept for the Osmo pocket really nice but I don't like this concept for the Osmo action and I'll tell you why if you looked at one of my most recent videos I'll leave a link right here I mean, I bash the crap out of this camera. Are you still alive? This thing is made to take a beating. It's made to take some, some pounding. And the last thing I want is one of those magnetic filters to pop off. Now these ones are just NDs, so all they are supposed to do this, so all this glass is supposed to do is darken the image and that's all I want I want to handle my colors separately I just want the image to get darker so that it's not overexposed that's all I want I don't want to mess with the colors and stuff like that so that's what's important to me in an LED filter and this truly delivers it that's pretty much it make sure you do all the fun YouTube stuff thumbs up like subscribe all that good stuff and uh, I'll see you whenever I can Big shout out to Autonomous Drone Services and MadMixTube.com for providing us with the equipment to make these videos possible. I'm still giving away six DJI Mavic 2 Pros or Zooms. Head over to my Patreon account, donate a dollar, become a patron, and automatically you're entered to win a chance to win one of six of those drones. Guys, let's make this happen. Come on, support me and help me support you.